What up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Nerd Jet Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. We are going to be discussing uh, DC's presence at San Diego Comic-Con 2022. At first, it seemed as if they didn't have anything prepared. I don't know what was going on. It seems like they didn't have they didn't have a big presence to sort of rival the hype that the MCU was going to be having at San Diego Comic Con. Then we get an announcement from the heads over at W the, at Warner Brothers, The Rock, on his Twitter channel announcing that they're going to have a panel at San Diego Comic-Con. Brian, how long have I been talking about Henry Cavill possibly joining, being in that movie? You were on that for a while. You've been on that for a while. Since, oh, probably man. since they started exchanging like workout videos. Like, <laughs> immediate, which has been like- When I years. saw them on his, on The Rock's Twitter, I think they were, it looked like they were in the backyard sitting and having a chat. And I'm pretty sure The Rock was, you know, selling him on this idea. And I'm pretty sure Henry Cavill was like, I don't know, Warner Brothers and I, I don't know. It, it's big. Oh, there's a lot of news on that this week, yeah. I'm pretty sure The Rock was Ooh. like, don't, don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah. If I have anything to say about it, it will be okay. Um, so we got that. That seems to be the biggest thing coming out of that camp with regards to Henry Cavill possibly making his return to the role of Superman. And this is something, Brian, that we discussed whew, all the time. Back in the days when we were doing Egghead News and I, I was doing Egghead News, we talked about the possibility of Henry Cavill coming back, whether it would work or not. We've spoken about, um, is, he, is he too old? He's 40 years old. How long do they want this Superman for, right? So, Brian, when you heard this, what were your thoughts on this possibility? And do you think this is what they are, are going to announce? Because nothing that DC has um is going to make a huge of an impression outside of that there's no bigger announcement or a movie or that can be bigger than that brian your thoughts well, there's a lot of stuff all over the place on that so yeah. first off you know it's funny. I know we come across as <laughs> we come across as pretty anti Dwayne Johnson in a lot of ways. Yeah, yeah. But it's Dwayne not Johnson's that, a brilliant that. guy. We're yeah, actually both rock fans, and he's no dummy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like he is. He knows he's got a he's got a big moment in his in his illustrious career coming up in a couple of months. Yeah. It, maybe. I mean, maybe it was him that was the engine for getting the panel in place. But like, oh, hell's yeah. how could you not have a Black Adam panel a couple of months before this movie's going to come out? Especially when the first teaser for Wakanda Forever is going to drop, and that movie's coming out two weeks after your movie. Yeah. So, congrats. If it was Dwayne Johnson, like, he's no idiot. Like, he knows he needs to you know, put on a show, and The Rock knows how to put on a show. That's for sure. So, the Cavill thing. There's a lot of Cavill news running around. I, I spent a lot of time <laughs> researching this, more than I care to admit. <laughs> there's been so much on this, yeah, including yeah. we want to talk about it in a different show a big story on Rolling Stone linking the, the Zack Snyder Justice League cut back to some pretty juicy stuff regarding yeah, Henry Cavill yeah. and his yeah, relationship yeah. to Warner Brothers. So one thing significant that I ferreted up in the, again, not confirmed, but in sort of credible sources, is that Henry Cavill's existing DC contract has one appearance remaining. And I asked this question when we talked about it last time. I said, does he have anything left? Does anyone know? Apparently, he does. So that might open the door to Black Adam 2 in a very simple way for the David Zaslav regime. 
They honor the contract. They don't buy him out. Rock gets what he wants. He gets to throw down with Henry Cavill in a movie. And they can sail off into the sunset with a different actor if, if that's what they want. If that is what they're going to announce, I think that's cool for Black Adam, but probably a net disappointment to DC fans who I think are expecting that this is the return of Henry Cavill as the DC Universe's Superman for the foreseeable future. Count me in the camp that I'm still very skeptical that that's going to happen based on everything else that I've been able to find about this story. Um, so I guess I want to pause there and I'll put it back to you because what we've also heard is that there are Superman credit stingers in both Black Adam and Flashpoint in which only the body is shown, just like in Shazam. And apparently the word is the, the reason they've been shot that way is that they can be changed to show the face of a new actor or I guess Henry Cavill, if he's gonna be in Black Adam. They've left themselves some flexibility to put all of Superman in these scenes. That's what I've heard. So if that's what it is, Henry Cavill, oh, and by the way, Henry Cavill's shooting The Witcher season three right now. That's the other thing that's a little bit sketchy about this. So he's in Europe shooting the season. San Diego Comic-Con is in San Diego. So not unprecedented for someone to fly, do an overnight, show up on stage and go back, but just pointing out he is not in California. The Rock's jet is going to pick him up and they're right. going to drop him back <laughs> off. Correct. <laughs> so how do you feel about that? I mean, you've been on this train for a while. So if it turns out Henry Cavill's coming on stage, he's in the credit stinger of Black Adam 1, and he is presumably opposite The Rock in Black Adam 2. How, I mean, similar to our Marvel questions, how excited are you? I'm curious to see how Henry Cavill, Henry Cavill Superman will be in this new opportunity that he'll get to, to, to play the character. I mean, he's spoken very publicly about what sort of Superman, you know, he wanted to play or, he, you know, and, and Henry Cavill was a soldier. He was a professional and did what was asked of him. We, you mentioned that in the past, Brian. And I think I would be more interested. My curiosity would be towards seeing a different per performance out of him and, and, and whether he can be the Superman that I thought I would see when I first saw the trailer for Man of Steel and the trailers subsequently that before I saw the movie. Um, so yeah, I don't know about excitement, but it is, it'll, it'll definitely get me interested in seeing what's, what type of performance and Superman we're going to get. You know, what makes me a little bit nervous. I'm always nervous when you start pitching the sequel before the first movie is out. There's a long history of that not working out well for franchises. Now, I understand that if you put Henry Cavill in and you promise that he's coming, he will add to the interest in the box office for Black Adam 1. There's no question. But if that movie is not good and if that movie disappoints at the box office, are we sure that the new WB is going to hand over a $200 plus million dollar budget to make Black Adam 2? That's when Suge Knight 2.0 becomes 3.0. <laughs> That's the only way it gets done. Because if it were me, you're like, this didn't work. This was supposed to be, you're the rock. You're supposed to make a billion dollars. It didn't happen. Why? The movie was whack. And you want me to trust you with another, what, nine figure budget for a movie that didn't really bring back that, 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 that excitement for the, I, I don't know. And by the way, as much as, as I think I'm probably pro Cavill as, as Clark Kent and Superman, his run as Superman has been a financial disappointment. Any way you cut it, mm. that's 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 the numbers. 
And, you know, I like Henry Cavill, but I think it requires a certain, I've said this over and over again, it requires a certain type of director to, to, to get the performance he wants from Henry Cavill, because I've seen him in some joints and, yo, it isn't a good watch. You know, he was, again, he was great in Man From U.N.C.L.E., he's great in The Witcher, um, but some of these other joints, I mean, he was good in, 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 in um, Fallout. Um, but again, it requires someone to get a performance out of Henry Cavill because you just let him do what he wants. I don't know. I don't know. So but. let's go to Henry Cavill as Superman beyond Black Adam because that's what I think the rumor is being interpreted. So here's why I am still like, I'm still betting against this. There's one of the rumors going around is that Henry Cavill in negotiations to come back for a new contract has been asking for a big step up in salary and creative control over Ooh. story and director. Wow. I don't think he merits that. As much as I do feel like he was a good soldier, I don't think his resume would say you should be giving him the keys to a franchise. You're not. A, you're not Tom Cruise, and you're not The Rock. <laughs> you know? And I don't see David Zasloff, as much as he wants Superman to be this big deal, which he clearly does, I don't see him making a deal like that out of the gate. Nah. So I heard that, again, these are unconfirmed, but this is one of the versions out there, is that Pavel is definitely playing hardball in negotiations, probably in part because he did have a tough experience to date, which is fair. I, I sympathize with why he would want that. I'm just yeah, saying yeah. as a studio, I don't necessarily feel like I feel comfortable giving that to him. Um, so that's the, the, the first reason. The second reason is this Rolling Stone piece. The timing of this is very interesting to me. They put this hit piece out on Zack Snyder and the Zack Snyder cut in which it mentions very clearly that Warner Brothers has been trying to get away from Henry Cavill since 2017. So now you're telling me because of the merger that that's all going to get undone and they're going to go back to the well with a guy that Zack Snyder cast 10 years ago? That feels off to me. That feels not like the kind of thing that a, a new studio executive would do. Right. I've said this in the past... And we've said this in the past. Warner Brothers is trying to get rid of this 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 thing called the Zack Snyder thing that he did. They're trying to like, oh that yeah, piece, yeah, yeah, that piece makes it crystal, crystal clear. clear. Yeah, crystal clear. Yeah, I mean, but even before that piece came out, we knew that this is how they felt. They wanted to get away from this, and the they only, only gave who, in. And the only guy who was on board, Jason Kalar, he gone. Yeah, <laughs> so. <laughs> We'll talk about it more than uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, I'm just saying yeah. for Cavill's perspective, you're yeah. fighting that headwind to yeah. bring him back. Now, the last point, because yeah. someone brought this up, uh, and thanks for watching the, the show about Black Adam and Henry Cavill before about the age. Yeah. So let me let's clarify what we mean by this. Yeah. It's not that he's too old to play the character right this second, right? If you shot a movie and say, Hey, I wanted you to do Black Adam 2. We're going to film it next year. It's going to be out. Okay, he's 40, 41. You're going up against The Rock, who's 52, probably at the time. Mm -hmm. Totally fine. That's not the issue. The issue is David Zaslav wants to restore Superman to the greatness that he believes it deserves. That means that you need an actor who can be the part for 10 to 15 years. That yeah. is our issue with the age. And in fact, there's a quote from, that cites Warner Brothers executives saying that, quote, Henry Cavill is aging out of the role. Quote, oh, that's an actual quote from Warner Brothers' top executive. They don't want to see Quest for Peace 2. Superman. Well, he yeah, was, well, you, you remember that scene? He's, I don't know what he's carrying. He's fine. His gut is all, nah, we don't want to see that, yo. And by the way, so I went back and checked the numbers. Christopher Reeve was only 35 in that movie. In he which one? Superman. Quest for Peace. Wow. He played Superman from age 26 to 35. Brandon Routh was 27 when Superman returned. Henry Cavill was cast at age 29 for Man of Steel. It would be literally unprecedented to 
to start a new Superman franchise with an actor in his 40s and say, yeah. this is the guy for 10 plus years. I will use Henry Cavill in a, a redo on um, Return of the Dark Knight and have him play the older Superman. That, 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 that would be the thing I would do for, for Henry Cavill. I know he wants redemption for this character and the way it was portrayed. And if you're going to do it, it's just like, yo, you're putting yourself in a position where if you do outstanding and the people want you for more, I don't know. You know, I, I, I don't know. was that Andrew Garfield, uh, play it again, Sam, <laughs> like redemption now after that, you know? Uh, yeah. And the longer you wait, the less and less that, 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 and probably that's what, I, I mean, I don't think that'll happen now because of what, what we may see at, um, Comic-Con with Henry Cavill possibly making an announcement and showing up for, I don't think Brian, Henry Cavill's, I'm, I'm going out on a limb. I think his Superman is going to probably be a little bit more than just a end credit scene. No, I think, like I said, I think it would be, he's, he's the second bill for Black Adam too. Would be the appear that would be the contractual appearance. Yeah, but I just I will yeah I'll stand up and say I was totally wrong, but I I just will be surprised if they're gonna say like he's back and we're planning Man of Steel two and three and building toward a new Justice League with Henry Cavill and Robert Pattinson. I just I'll be surprised. Oh no, yeah, I'll, I'll be, be surprised. super surprised. I'll be super surprised. But yeah, um, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of uh, Henry Cavill coming back to the role. Do you think he can play the Superman role for another 10 years? Do you think he's the guy to reestablish Superman as the top building of superheroes in the comic book genre? That's what Zaslav wants. I don't know if Henry Cavill is it. There's something else percolating on the DC side, which I got to ask you about. They kept it real quiet, but supposedly Aquaman 2 and Flashpoint, there's something at this event because they're obviously coming out next year. Good idea or bad idea, in your opinion, given we're coming off the Amber Heard trial, everything going on around Ezra Miller, can they get through these events without those things kind of marring these I, I think the people that will be talking about that negatively are the people that are gonna write about it and you know I think for the most part people that are there I don't think they really care you know you might get a few things people saying here and there but I don't think the the fans care about that they just want to see a dope movie they want to see these characters come to life and uh um the Ezra Miller thing is still a little bit I think is just uh is over the top. I, I just don't see. They say they got a great movie there, well, so he, I'm, he can't. Sorry, they can't be there to promote that. So that's tough. Like Jason yeah. Momoa obviously can promote Aquaman two for you. They can just leave Amber Heard off the panel, which they certainly would do. To not have your lead, to have like just Muschietti, and probably Michael Keaton, if that's who you're going to have promoting it, it's. A little weird. You can have your lead who's in ninety percent of the movie, and you can't actually put them up, on, put them up on stage to answer questions and interact with the fans. I don't know. The awkwardness starts this weekend, I think, if they <laughs> if they are really going to do panels and things, which it sounds like especially they might. for the Flash. Yeah, that's what I mean. I, I think it's really, I think it's a really strange setup for them. Okay, other thing. Given the um, this Rolling Stone piece, which we'll talk about in another show, where would you place odds? There's a restore the Snyderverse disruption during one of these panels. Fan, something, fan base, like some fan base of, on that side, somebody kind of making noise and confronting whoever's on stage for, for WB about this. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to probably happen. Yeah, I'm kind of in the camp that this, after that piece, I think it's going to be a pretty high probability. <laughs> Maybe it'll be Ray yeah. Fisher himself, who knows? But <laughs> I yeah, I think I, that's definitely going to happen. I mean, we're going to have our ears. Uh, do this all over again. I, yeah. We cannot get away from this, man. It's like the. I know, right? I, just when you think it's over. Yeah. 
Yeah, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of DC's uh, presence at the San Diego Comic Con. And do you think there's anything bigger than Henry Cavill's possible return to the Superman role? Let us know in the comment section below. Uh, we'll see you next time on the Nerd Report.